Nüüd aga märk sa popimate lemmikloomade koerte juurde. Kas sina teadsid, et sinu koer võib ka sinule endale allergiline olla? Mulle nüüd jah, ma tean, et sa juba tahad mul ise sülle. Yes! Muskli punni. Hello, Aleksandra. Hello, Hedi. I brought you a dog who has allergies, and that's our topic today. What can you tell me about allergies? Thank you for asking. It is my favorite topic uh, because mostly I deal with skin problems and allergies are the most often problems I see, unfortunately. It's about 10% of dog in all the population who have allergies. And uh, sometimes we know the reason, sometimes we can't find it. And often people just don't recognize that this is allergy. Usually allergies have some typical signs and the main uh, symptom is itchiness. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are some typical places that get itchy in an allergic dog. Usually those are the ears, the paws, sides, can be also the butt mm -hmm. and the belly. So some other places like back yeah. or the tail is very untypical to be an allergy. And then uh, if I have this complaint from the owner, I should check the dog, I should check those spots and uh, sometimes we suspect some other reasons why it can be itchy, like parasites, infections, and then we rule them out. And if the problem is still there, it means that it is allergy. In human world, when you suspect an allergy, then you can make a whole lot of tests, either skin tests or blood tests. and I can assume that people come here with their animal and want to get the same tests done. How does it really work? Uh, yes, very often people uh, uh, come and think that we will just take some tests and know uh, if the dog has allergy or no and have all the answers. Unfortunately, uh, very often it is not true. Uh, the tests uh, also exist for foods and for not foods, but most of the cases the diagnosis is set only by looking at the animal, by listening to the history and by ruling out other reasons. This test will not give us an answer if the dog has allergy or no. It, it is needed uh, to be done if we want to detect the allergens and to make a special vaccination with those allergens. Uh, it is one of the possible treatments for the dog, but it's not needed to set the diagnosis. Again, in human world, most common allergies are most likely food allergies. What about animal world? In animal world, it is not the same. Uh, mostly animals have not the food allergy, but the environmental allergy, which is also called atopic dermatitis. And um, it is well known that 80% of allergic dogs who have the atopic dermatitis, the allergy on something from the outside, but not the food. Most of the cases, if we check the blood, if we look for the allergens, we find out that it is the house dust mite. Uh, it can be also some kind of plants or pollens, uh, trees. It can be even the epithelium of other animals, for example, a cat or a rat. So my dog can be allergic to my cat. Unfortunately, <laughs> sometimes even to you. <laughs> oh, to humans as yes, well. Yes. How common is that? The allergy to some human or to other animal is not that common. Most often it is the house dust mite plus some kind of uh, tree or uh, pollen or a flower. Unfortunately, we can't say by looking at the animal if it is the allergy on food or not on food. So the only way is to check it and it is done by uh, ruling out the possible allergens. It is true that mostly if the dog is a food allergic uh, animal, it has allergy to some kind of meat. 
Mostly it can be chicken protein or beef protein or dairy products. It's quite difficult to rule everything out from the menu. And that's why there are special foods invented who have those proteins that don't cause allergies. And then we do such a process that is called elimination diet. Mm -hmm. So we uh, put the dog on this new diet for uh, one month or two months and during this period we should see improvement. If we see no improvement, we understand that it is not the food allergy. And we uh, switch to the blood test only after this elimination diet, when we know that it is not the food allergy, it is atopic dermatitis. And then if the owner wants to make the vaccine, only then we offer those uh, tests. It is a special vaccine. It is also called immunotherapy. I always explain that it is not always very effective. Uh, it's only about 50% of cases when it is effective. Uh, so in uh, many situations, people choose tablets or other drugs. There are other newer drugs that were really invented a year ago that also one of them is an injection form. Mm -hmm. And actually it is the one that I want to prescribe to Mia mm -hmm. because she has been on tablets for quite a long period. Uh, and now uh, we decided with the owner to try this new drug. It has one big benefit. We just do one injection and for one month allergy symptoms disappear. And uh, this is not hormonal, it is not dangerous, it is a very safe and new drug.